Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mercedes-Benz here in Munich. Once again, there are two good reasons to visit this beautiful city in September. One celebrates amazing cars, and the other celebrates delicious beer. And in the interest of safety, there is a one-week break in between. I admit I love the Oktoberfest. Still, I do believe our event has the more progressive soundtrack. Let's give a big hand to Sofiane Pama and NTO. And we certainly have the more progressive looks, uh, thanks to our star of the show, the new concept CLA class. With more new exhibitors than ever, coming from more different countries than ever, showing more products than ever, this year's IAA is also proof. The car business is a universal attraction. So as the inventor of the automobile, it's even more important for us to answer the questions. What sets our brand apart in this defining age of change? What makes a Mercedes a Mercedes in the electric era? Our ambition is clear. Defining class by elevating the game across the board. That's what we have done time and time again since 1886. Today, this new concept CLA class shows what that means for our customers. More high tech, more efficiency, more style, simply more substance. At Mercedes, the toughest competition has often been in-house, because we are blessed with an entire range of iconic cars. The S-Class speaks high-tech like no other car out there, so does the EQS. They define comfort, safety, and innovation. DSL has embodied sportiness and dream car aspirations ever since. The G-Class has been defining off-road capability for more than 40 years. Its iconic shape is built to last. The all-electric G will arrive as early as next year. Now, how do the first letters of the Mercedes alphabet fit in? With the original launch, of the A-Class back in 1997, we upgraded the segment, and with its successor in 2012, we made it cool. Today, the concept CLA class is the forerunner to an entirely new portfolio of electric first vehicles. This is really the start of a new era for us. We will introduce four new models developed from scratch on our new Mercedes modular architecture, MMA. A four-door coupe, a shooting brake, and two stunning SUVs. All of them created by our engineers and designers to fulfill one mission. Elevating every aspect of what customers expect from Mercedes. First of all, we're elevating range. This car is the new long-distance king in its segment with a range of more than 750 kilometers, according to WLTP. This is roughly the distance between Munich and Hamburg, San Francisco and Los Angeles, or Tsingtao and Hangzhou. We're increasing range by more than 35% compared to our current EVs in the segment. This engineering achievement even beats most EV competitors in bigger car segments. That's possible because we're also elevating efficiency. This hypermiler consumes around 12 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I'm not aware of any other car in this segment that beats that. To translate this to conventional fuel standards, it is the one liter car for the electric age. This is thanks to the next generation Mercedes-Benz electric drive unit, our lightweight in-house development features 800-volt electric architecture and a two-speed transmission, paired with a smartly packaged battery with excellent energy density. And this drive unit is highly efficient. 93% of the energy stored in the battery will actually arrive 
at the wheels. That's more than double the energy efficiency of a modern ICE equivalent. In summary, this is an engineering masterpiece, redefining efficiency for its segment and for future Mercedes vehicles. With this technology coming to series production, the Vision EQXX has fulfilled its promise. The most efficient Mercedes to date has paved the way and all others will follow. Excellent engineering also helps us elevate another aspect, speed. The concept CLA class is exceptionally fast where it really matters for customers, at the charging station. In only 15 minutes, it charges up to 400 kilometers of range. That's twice as fast as our current offering in the segment. When charged at home, the battery can also double as intelligent energy storage, thanks to bi-directional charging. The next aspect we're massively upgrading is software. MBOS will be our most advanced operating system yet, and we're introducing it with our MMA architecture. MBOS and the onboard supercomputer create a fundamentally enhanced customer experience, from driving assistance and automated driving, all the way to charging, navigation, and entertainment. In our concept CLA class, video streaming will be available to front passengers even during the ride. Numerous layers of safety technology ensure the driver won't get distracted. Speaking of safety, which is one of Mercedes's core values, advanced child presence detection will make sure no loved ones are left behind in this car. Great content also needs a great canvas. So we're also substantially elevating hardware. With a unique MBUX super screen, it spans the entire cockpit and delivers razor-sharp graphics, vibrant colors, and a crystal clear resolution. And the comprehensive set of powerful sensors available in our MMA vehicles will raise the bar for automated driving features in this segment. Of course, we'll keep the cars updatable and future-proof. Future-proof, in the most relevant sense of the word, also means we're elevating sustainability. Across the entire MMA fleet, we aim to reduce CO2 emissions in our value chain by more than 40% compared to the previous architecture. And our new electric drive unit uses close to zero heavy rare earths. The concept CLA explores sustainable materials from nearly CO2-free steel to CO2-reduced aluminium. It comes with a paper-based interior trim made from recycled cellulose and hemp. Innovative materials that will look good, feel good, and go into series production. They all contribute to elevating the style and the design of this vehicle. The concept CLA class is distinct and clearly memorable on the road. It simply looks and feels like a Mercedes. On the inside, details like the expansive glass roof and the extensive use of low-energy LED lights elevate the experience. In fact, it's so spacious that a tall guy like me could comfortably travel long distances in this car, even sitting in the rear seats. And remember, this is where the future of the Mercedes-Benz portfolio begins. These electric models will define new standards. Because, well, our customers expect nothing less from Mercedes. That's why we've invited one highly, highly demanding customer who knows a thing or two about elevating his game. An undisputed gentleman who has seen it all, won it all, and who has been tremendously successful following his passion. He's one of the most celebrated athletes of his generation and a close friend of our brand. Let's welcome Roger Federer. Uh, thanks.
thanks for uh, joining us, Roger, this evening. My pleasure, thank you. When I was a kid and grew up, um, Bjorn Borg was one of my heroes. It didn't immediately advance my tennis game, but at least it pushed me to practice. Uh, did you have a childhood icon, and what makes an icon for you? So Bjorn, for me, will always be the king as well, even though he was before my time in many ways, but he's a wonderful person. And of course, I had heroes of my own, uh, Stefan Edberg, Boris Becker, Michael Jordan, uh, Pete Sampras, and then also Martina Hingis inspired me, you know, to become a, a great tennis man and an icon. I don't think you aim to become an icon, to be honest. I think you become it through unbelievable uh, hard work, dedication, and just greatness, you know. And then I think once you are there, you just got to make sure you maintain it and keep the, the spirit, the winner's spirit, uh, alive. And uh, uh, Mercedes has definitely become that. So it's a great honor for me to be brand ambassador for Mercedes-Benz. Well, speaking about tennis, while we are enjoying great cars, there is some really good tennis uh, going on in New York. That's right. Any tips for the U.S. Open? Who's, who's, who's going to take it home? Uh, as you can see, I set priorities. I'm here and not at the <laughs> Open. That's why I retired last year. No, uh, jo jokes aside, I think um, the favorites are the defending champions, probably Iga Swiatek, and uh, on the women's side, maybe together with Coco Goff, who's been playing very well, I think has a great chance. Um, on the men's side, I'd say obviously Alcaraz, like I mentioned, as a defending champion, Novak, Djokovic, and then maybe Medvedev as well, who's one of the past. I think uh, the the winners are, are in that circle, but surprises, obviously, as we know in sports, are always possible, and that's why we got to watch. Yeah, Otherwise we we've seen some good matches. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, uh, from your experience, we, we talked about uh, excellence. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it take to deliver that over decades? What makes the difference there? The difference is, I feel, getting to the top, uh, I don't want to say it's the easy part, but staying there is the hard part. Um, I experienced that personally myself. It's windy at the top. Everybody wants your spot. And for that reason, you got to respect um, the opposition. you got to respect uh, the field that you're working in. And for me, rivalries and rivals were extremely important to stay ahead of the game, stay with them, or maybe try to just be creative and find different ways how it can uh, keep the competition at bay. But um, I think that's the hard part in the business uh, is to stay ahead of the competition and uh, it takes a lot of hard work, a great team, dedication and uh, you've got to stay motivated and uh, just keep on pushing forward. So talking about uh, staying ahead, um, I know you're driving EVs now. Uh, what do you like about it? Uh, what do we need to improve? <laughs> so, what, would you expect, what, what, what would you expect from Mercedes? Yeah, as you're putting yeah. yourself under yeah. pressure. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, so last year I drove the, the new EQS. Now this year I have the EQS SUV. I, I must say I love it a lot. In the beginning, there was a lot going on for me as I was driving. I, was a, I had a hard time following all the signals on the road and in the car, but now I've gotten the hang of it. Um, I think important, probably most important for everybody is uh, that we have enough charging stations I would assume and then you know other than that I think the inside is such an immersive experience and I only try to imagine where we're gonna be in 5 10 20 years maybe from now I think it's gonna be incredible but maybe you know something funny I don't know hey Mercedes I got a couple of mosquitoes on the top right uh, corner of the windshield can you get rid of them without wiping the windshield I don't know if that's possible but you know uh, Things like uh, this. Well, 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 well I'll, I'll take a note of that. Uh, our head of R&D is here tonight with okay. some of his engineers, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure out that the, the, the laser beam that removes the individual fly on the windscreen. <laughs> okay. uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Roger Federer. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have heard from a, um, a diplomatic Swiss, yet very demanding customer. Uh, as Roger has pointed out, uh, it's the overall experiences that convinces people to make the shift uh, towards electric. Our EV sales more than doubled in the second quarter, which is great, but we have a long journey ahead of us. The full transition to EV technology is a marathon and maybe we're around kilometer eight or nine right now. So what does it take to go the whole distance? First of all, 
we are very clear about our strategic destination, zero emission. Following our MMA vehicles, we will shortly thereafter introduce the MBEA architecture for mid-size electric vehicles and AMGEA for the performance segment. Next year, we'll give a glimpse into the upcoming electric generation of our vans with the dedicated van EA architecture. For every segment we serve, the guiding principle is simple. The cars are all electric, the feeling is all Mercedes. Driving an electric Mercedes includes charging it, and we'll make sure charging is fast and reliable. We're continuing to build our own global Mercedes high-power charging network. The first locations will be opening within the next few weeks in the US, in China, and in Germany. And on top, we're creating a joint venture with six other OEMs that will provide access to an expansive network of high-quality charging in North America. Beyond charging, we also provide more variety when it comes to the car itself. We already offer nine fully electric Mercedes models, three of which also have AMG siblings. We have the most comprehensive plug-in and mild hybrid portfolio in the market, and that includes the completely new E-Class family, offering electric ranges of up to 115 kilometers. Today, we added the E-Class all-terrain as a more rugged variant. And let's not forget, our latest combustion engine models are the most attractive and high-tech ICE cars that we have ever built. So we're prepared to cater to whatever our customers choose. The new MMA architecture is another good example. It's designed to be fully electric from scratch. And once the EV version was perfected, we added the combustion engine options. But I'd like to underline another very important part of people's individual decision process, and it's desire. To scale EV adoption, we have to win both our customers' hearts and minds. That is why we're dedicating to building the Mercedes of EVs instead of just EVs from Mercedes. Let's recall the C111, born in the 1960s, a design revolution at the time and a technological masterpiece. Heart and mind. Together, they made the C111 an automotive icon. This summer, we've revived this icon with the Vision 111. And again, we captured people's hearts and minds with technological innovation and this stunning design. How can this car not trigger desire? That's the Mercedes way. We'll deliver on all the rational arguments from proven safety, real-world range, from easy charging to effective recycling. These speak to the mind. Still, a Mercedes is so much more. It's an object of joy, a respected status symbol, a loyal companion for life. This is what comprises the heart. And it's only the heart and mind together that make it a Mercedes. A car that beloved by generations, across generations. And that is what we mean by defining class. 1886. When the world asked for faster horses, we invented a new class. And we didn't stop there. From three wheels to the three-pointed star, we've reinvented it again and again. We've created class in every segment, from the icons of the past to the generations to come.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Concept CLA class here on stage is our latest proof. We're dedicated to creating desire through iconic design and leading technology. And we're dedicated to doing more for our customers today and tomorrow. So we were thinking, what else could we do to delight them? And we have decided to make one of our most loved icons accessible for even more people to enjoy. We discussed it and we thought, let's keep doing what we're best at. Let's do more. There will be a smaller version of one of our most iconic shapes. Yes, there will be a little G. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it, it, here's, it, uh, here's a fan. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we fully understand the responsibility this entails. Uh, we have some very big shoes to fill there. So be assured, the little G will be electric, it will be capable, and it will be instantly recognizable. And it will be a lot of fun to drive, both on and off the road. That's a promise. Better Jet, it's uh, just one of many fantastic new products we will present to you in the future. And with that, let's enjoy the rest of the night and have a great time at the IAA 2023. Thank you.